Yep, no date sub back in the collection. Picked it up from CW Watch Shop. I will have a link in the description below. This is not a review. This is just showing this bad boy off. This is a 2010 model, 14060M. So it has a 3130 movement. You have engraved rehot. Probably one of the best, I'd say the last of the best Submariners until they went to that, you know, bloated case, which I've owned before also, the 40 mil big case. This is also 40 mil, but just wears much differently than the other 40 mil case. This is the OG, this is the original. Um, and I just love the thinner lugs. Um, it's just a much better wearing watch in my opinion. So this is, I think, over time going to become, you know, more and more desirable. Seems like they were up in value. They came down a little bit. They go up and down. They fluctuate. You know how the market's pretty crazy right now. So who knows? I mean, it doesn't really matter. To me, I think this is my favorite design. Even out of, you know, having so many 16610s with the date. The sub date, even the 16800, which I really love that watch as well. But I think for me, having a no date is just probably perfect. It's the sweet spot. Perfect dial. Everything's laid out the right way. It just looks great. Let's see if we can zoom in on the dial. gonna someday hit that neo vintage i think it probably already is or it's getting there you know the only thing is is that i don't think you're gonna get any patina out of these hour markers or the dial but you will after a while on the bracelet i mean not on the bracelet but uh on the um, bezel which this one is in really good condition but eventually you know it will get some wear Anyway, just wanted to share that the no date is back in the collection. And I love the drilled lugs, something they also don't do anymore. And it's funny, in the 14060M, they kept doing drilled lugs all the way to the end, um, which I think they stopped making this this model in 2012, I think, 2011 or 2012. But of course, the 16610, I don't know what year they stopped doing drilled lugs, but they but they did. So it's pretty cool that they kind of kept this design going, kind of like the original. And I love that it's a four-liner because the four-liner harkens back to the original 5512s. So I think there's a lot going on for this watch. Um, that is going to make it really desirable for collectors later on down the down the road. So, pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.